On February the 15th, Peter and I, along with seven seniors and our driver Michael, visited the Denver Firefighters Museum. This trip was organized by the Broomfield Recreation Center. Denver's original Station One opened January 2nd, 1882, as home to the Broadway Hose Company, number six, which was a volunteer company organized on February 27th, 1881. The elaborate building was two stories tall and topped with a belfry that contained a 1,600 pound bell. There were two large double doors, one facing 15th Street and one facing Broadway, that, according to the Denver Post, were for the purpose of facilitating the more speedy exit of the men from the engine room, saving them the time and trouble of running around the building. The downtown location meant it was close to prominent civic, private and cultural buildings in need of protection. In the spring of 1884, the building became the home of Engine Company No. 1. Station 1 was in service until 1909 when it was torn down to make room for a monument to the pioneers who crossed the plains and settled in Denver. The new firehouse was the current two-story structure located at 1326 Tremont Place designed by Glenn W. Huntington, a noted Denver architect. When Engine Company No. 1 moved into its new location, horse-drawn apparatus was still in use, as in most of the rest of the city. The east and west interior walls were lined with horse stalls. The Denver Fire Department was motorized by the mid-1920s and many of the city's firehouses were remodeled during this period. Station 1's plumbing and electricity were updated, a concrete floor replaced the wood floor, and the hayloft was removed, replaced with kitchens and locker rooms. In the early 1930s, equipment lockers and garage doors were added. The Tremont Place House was in service until 1975 and continued to be used as headquarters until it was moved in 1976. Station 1 was one of the largest and oldest fire stations in Denver when it was decommissioned after 66 years of service. But the station was not out of use for long. Merle Wise, chief of the Denver Fire Department at the time, saw an opportunity to rescue the building. After consulting with a friend who was a chief in San Diego, where a firehouse museum was operating successfully, he moved to save Station 1 from destruction by nominating it for Denver Landmark Designation.
A fire buff organization called the Denver Fire Reserves tackled the job of transforming the aging structure into an operating museum. They helped to clean, paint and collect the myriad of fire artifacts that were stored around the city. Then in 1978, a group of civic leaders were enlisted to comprise a governing body. They held organizational meetings to create a management structure and began to develop a constitution, bylaws and a mission statement. The board incorporated the museum as a non-profit organization in 1979 and the station received a National Register of Historic Place listings. The museum opened to the public on May 27, 1980. The museum's permanent collection consists of fire apparatus, personal protective tools and equipment, communication consoles, uniforms, trophies and fire suppression materials from a period spanning from before the Denver Fire Department was formed in 1876 to the present. It holds an extensive collection of works on paper as well as firefighting artwork by local and national artists. The collection also includes a manuscript, photograph and archive collection. But the centerpiece of the collection is the historic firehouse itself, built in 1909 and celebrating over 100 years of firefighting history. When our tour was over, we made our way to a wonderful Mexican restaurant where we all enjoyed our lunch. Thank you Broomfield Rec Center for a wonderful tour.